What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. As you know, I'm your boy Alec G and today we're gonna start the long awaited Noob's Guide to Wheelies. Now I call it the Noob Guide to Wheelies because nowhere near am I like a professional at it and really, really good at it. But I feel like I've gotten to a point where I'm good enough to explain the idiosyncrasies within the wheelies and the things that you're gonna have to overcome so that way you guys can excel and progress quicker than I did. There are some people out there who progress very quickly. Other people like myself progress slowly. I feel like my tips are gonna help you progress a lot quicker than I did. Um, number one thing is practice, practice, practice. I'm not even gonna start rambling on that. I'm gonna get into it in the video. But yeah, this video is something that I actually recorded a while back um, before the winter came around. And I wasn't gonna post it at first, but then I realized, you know what? You talk about some really good things in that video and I don't wanna remake the video and miss them. So I figure I'm like, you know what, post it anyway. Second video will double up on some of the things that we didn't emphasize on that we should have um, and then continue from there. But yeah, let's get into this video for you guys. I hope you guys catch some education from it. If you got any questions, leave them down in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe. These videos will continue to come. Um, I don't know how many there will be, but I'm gonna try to make at least a handful of them so that way, you know, you got something to watch. Obviously, I'll go into the lot and do some practice and try to show you guys the different steps and stages you'll be at. But anyway, enough rambling. Let's get into this video. If you haven't done so already, um, if I still got stickers, hit me up, DM me. I will send you one. Um, yeah, well, let's get into this video. What up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. And today is Friday. It is foot break Friday, and it's been about a week since I've actually ridden. So I'm just riding around my hood and going to bust some wheelies. And today I want to start a series that is my series on how to wheelie and what it takes to wheelie because I feel like there are a lot of videos where people talk about how to do it and they say oh you got to use your foot brake and I will admit it is all about the foot brake but there are more sensations that I feel like people could key in on and talk about than what they actually talk about so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a series and in this one I'm not even going to really talk about much about the pop-up and the wheelie because I'm sure most of you watching this have seen a video or two about how to wheelie so you know the general fundamentals where you know it's clutch gas and brake but what i'm going to talk about are the mental stages and then like i'll call them physical okaynesses <laughs> for the lack of a better word um as they call them in twisted the wrist survival reactions i'm going to talk about those and how those are the things you're going to need to overcome and the things that you're going to feel and have to just be okay with and then over time you'll get comfortable because it is about seat time in the end but uh yeah i'm gonna start like i said this episode off not really much about the wheelie but just you know there's different sensations that i felt so let's get into it <laughs> So the first thing that's going to happen is you're going to get into your, your sensation of wheelies and you know, obviously you're going to work on popping the front end up and you're going to start with little ones and it's going to come up higher and higher and higher. And the first thing I noticed, and in all this, you obviously want to train your brake and you want to be hitting on your brake. But the first thing I notice is that there's two sensations of falling backwards that you're going to feel. And the first one is going to be when you kind of like the first time you pop it up and like you'll get used to that point and then after that you'll pop it up the furthest you ever did and you're going to feel like you're falling backwards in a chair meanwhile you're nowhere near as high or nowhere near balance point but you had that sensation like you're falling back in a chair that sensation when you feel that you're nowhere near balance point and you still have further to go. As a matter of fact, you still have more sensation to feeling like you're falling back out of a chair. It's not until you get a sensation where you've fallen back in the chair 
and then you feel it a drop in your butt. And this kind of segues into another thing that I should have started off with, but the number one thing to try to remember when you're going into wheeling and practicing, remember to be seated. Be part of the bike. Feel the bike move and kick under you. Because the number one mistake I was making when I started wheeling, since I love ripping corners, I keep my weight in my feet. And I wouldn't let my weight out of my feet. So you're essentially changing the location of balance point. Now, yeah, obviously, once you learn brake and everything and you can control it, you know, that doesn't matter because you can do stand-ups. But for an initial learner to, like, get that feeling of balance point, you want to make sure you're sitting down because... As I started to mention, you're going to feel like you're falling back, and then there's going to be stage two of feeling like you're falling back. And then you're going to feel the drop in the seat of your pants. And that is going to essentially be you, like, pivoting over the back wheel. And as long as you make sure you're seated, you're going to feel the bike under you more and feel that pivot more, which is going to help you then, you know, understand what and where balance point is. So those were two large things that I, or that might have been like three in one, that I realized when I was starting a wheelie that were happening when I was learning a wheelie. And nobody in any video has ever explained it or said anything like that. But you're going to feel those sensations. I almost guarantee it. So once you've gotten to the point where you can toss it up and, you know, you at this point, like you're training break. You know, as all the videos say, you want to pop it up and you want to intentionally put it down with your brake. I don't care how good you get at chasing wheelies out, you always bring it down with the brake. Matter of fact, the one thing I started doing when I started wheeling or wanted to learn how to wheelie, to, to learn rear brake and, like, make that be my go-to, when you ride around and even just cruising around, instead of using your front brake and going to your front brake, only use your rear brake. You start to call on it more in a, uh, in a case of emergency type of situation. Where, like, now, you know, you jump to your front brake to stop. Well, in that case, you're going to start jumping to your rear brake to stop. And what that's going to do, it's going to be good because once you toss that thing up and you get it up there, you're going to need to be able to jump to the rear brake, not to flailing your legs down and putting them down or to your, you know, hand brake here trying to squeeze this and that wheel's in the air. So that ain't going to help you none. Um, so, yeah, just start using your rear brake overall. And like I said, when you're riding around, cruising around, you know, you might chew through some pads or whatever, using your brakes a lot, but it's a learning process. Pads are cheap. Go buy a new one. I did. So, yeah. Kind of backtracking on it. So, so you're going to pop it up. You're going to get to the point where, you know, you're doing these little things, chasing them out like that, and you're always intensely bringing it down with the brake. Then you're going to get to a point where, like, you feel like, you're right there at the brink of the, at the at the brink of balance point, and you're gonna feel that drop in the seat of your pants. And that's gonna be the day where this training of the brake foot is gonna come in, because that seat of the pants is gonna be another spook, just like that initial spook when you fall back and you feel that lean back. But you can't get scared. No panic, baby. No panic, as they say. You can't get shook, and you gotta go to the brake. And like I said, you just go to the brake in that moment. And in the beginning, you're not going to tap it. I'm going to be honest. You're going to hit that mug. You're going to hit it, and it's going to bring you down. But then you're going to get to a point where you're going to be more confident. And you'll throw it up, and you'll go to hit it. And this is kind of progressing later in the stage in your confidence of throwing it up. You get to the point where you get used to throwing it up, you catch yourself with the brake. But initially, you're going, you're going to be riding the brake like in the beginning of your wheelie time, it is all brake. Like, you throw it up and you meet at the height of the wheelie with the brake. Until you get used to being up there in balance point, there comes a point when you start to taper off using the brake and chill more in balance point. But that comes with time. That's where seat time comes in, I will be honest. You're going you're gonna to go out and you're going to ride and you're going to realize one day, like, oh, I throw it up, and I'm way up there. If I, like, ease off the brake and the throttle a little at the same time, you're coasting with your momentum, which is what you want to do. So then you don't have to ride the brake as much. You kind of, you know, use it when you need it. Brian636 made a great video um, where he uses his handbrake to demonstrate it, and you literally see him riding the brake, and the bike is fighting the brake. And then all of a sudden, it, uh, you know, he lets a little bit off the throttle, and, you know, less on the brake, and he's in balance point, you know, just kind of coasting it in balance point. 
but I will admit on a big bike it's a lot different than on one of these because your weight has a lot more influence on these bikes than on a big bike, I will admit. I mean, I'm 200 pounds on this thing, and I feel like a freaking behemoth on it whenever I'm riding it. And I feel like I overpower it a lot as far as weight goes. Now, my number one issue that I got to get rid of is twisting my handlebars when I throw the wheelie up. If I can keep my bar straight, I generally, I can make something happen. The whole point of this is so you understand the fact that there are several sensations that you're going to experience when you're learning how to wheel. But anyway, until next time, like I said, this is episode one. I didn't really, you know, show you or get into the wheelie thing that much, but I want you to understand that this journey, it's a mental journey. So I want you to watch this episode and listen to those things I was telling you and just ingrain them in yourself as you're going out and trying to learn. But I'm still learning. I still got a lot to learn. I still don't know shit shit about wheeling. I won't ride Malone. Until next time, I'm your boy Alec G. It's episode one of the series. Wheelie. Ride safe. Be safe. And, uh... Later. It's an awful wheelie to end the video on. Later.